Hey guys, welcome back to Mainville ATV and Outdoors where we do all things all terrain. Today we're going to focus on solving one of our latest problems of towing this thing around. Hey guys, today I'm really excited to be talking to you about the Mad Ramps system. Uh, so Mad Ramps was kind enough to send us out a unit. Uh, so that means today we're going to be going over the product, some installation, and more or less why we went that route. So for starters, as you all know, we started with our utility trailer, which had its purpose, but we've upgraded since to the enclosed trailer, which will allow us to tow our gear, camp out into it once it's converted and all that stuff. So very purpose oriented. The trailer is great. We don't have any uh, problems with it per se, but it is quite big to be hauling around and uh, it gets pretty tight in some of the trailheads that we visit. Also, it's a great unit for towing both of our quads, but when Kyle wants to go on a solo ride, it's a lot, it's, it's overkill. So today, this unit will enable us to just bring the one ATV when both ATVs aren't required and that'll be able to fit in the back of our truck. So uh, now you guys get to watch me struggle with the unboxing. Uh, we'll see if I need some help from my beautiful assistant, the cameraman today. But we figured you guys could get a little time with me today. Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought. I thought these big staples were gonna be problematic. There we go. Okay, so safety first. Okay. Oh my God, what is this? It's like spray foam? Babe, come see. There we go. So we'll talk about packaging here for a minute. It seems, so all their stuff's powder coated, which is awesome for durability and longevity of the product. Uh, so obviously they wanted to take good care of it for the shipping of it. So I think what they've done is they've put this plastic in uh, around their pieces and they've spray foamed like a packaging foam in it. So obviously that's probably one of the best ways they could have shipped this. Uh, and bear with me while I try to figure out how to take it apart. So that was box one, uh, had a couple of the framing components. I think the brake lights and stuff for the, for the edge of the ramp set. So we're gonna move on to box number two, which I'm pretty sure, spoiler alert, will have the actual ramps. So, well, that was some of the best packaging I've ever seen. For something pretty robust, I can say their packaging is equally robust. As you can tell, we've got all the components out of the packaging now, and typically the next step is to find this and throw it out. So I highly recommend you don't do that, not just because I'm not a stubborn male like my husband, but because there is, uh, this system is DOT approved from the ministry, and if you don't respect the torque values that are included, uh, you can get damaged. It's a safety concern too, right? So you're not just worried about damaging your stuff, but if you're gonna be driving down the highway, you don't want your quad flying at someone. So respect the torque values and uh, just at least graze over the installation in case there's anything else that you wanna be aware of. So all in all, that's what your setup's gonna look like. Um, 
took us about 20 minutes to install and then another 15, 20 minutes to just make sure it was torqued to spec and all the measurements were correct. So essentially what the installation breaks down to is putting all the pieces together and then the next process is just adjustments. So in the adjustment process, obviously you're gonna to wanna to respect the torque value. So for all the half inch bolts, that's gonna be 70 foot pounds. Um, as well, when you're opening your tailgate, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that the, um, the racks don't get any closer than four to six inches. But again, all of that information will be in your information booklet, but it's stuff like that that'll prevent damage or prevent any safety occurrences from happening. So otherwise that's it. You're also gonna to wanna to make sure that you test your brake lights and your hazard lights once it's all plugged in, make sure those are ready to go. So now the obvious next step is to get the ATV loaded into the system. So what that's going to entail is obviously lifting up the tunnel cover, dropping the tailgate, and then dropping these ramps for loading. So the way these work is just a simple pull pin. So we're going to pull that out, drop the, drop the ramps, and there's going to be another hole where you can secure the pull pin. And there you have it, they're locked in. So I'll move on to the other side. Same thing, you're gonna to wanna to secure it once it's at the bottom. Just get your holes lined up. And there you have it. So now when you measure it and secured all your pieces, you should have about four to six inches here. So that's a good time to double check that because when you are loading the machine, these are gonna pivot and that's not the right time to figure out if you did it right. So we're gonna open up that tunnel cover. And Bob's your uncle. So one of the benefits in our specific case of having these mad ramps is that obviously you don't want to have to take this off every time and if you're not going to be able to bring the quad all the way up to the front that's okay because your rear tires are actually going to be sitting outside the box and that's by design so the mad ramps are intended to support the weight of the rear of your atv so in cases like this you shouldn't have to remove this So now that we have our ATV loaded, uh, the ramps are gonna stow away nicely underneath. One of the nice features I didn't mention before is that the pivot bars actually, or the racks aren't actually secured to the pivot bar from side to side. So it allows you to adjust for the width of your ATV quite nicely. And that's something that's pretty prevalent when you're loading it. So that's, that's really useful. Otherwise, again, the pull pins are pretty handy. It's as easy as that. There you have it. trying out some of their other products potentially for our snowmobile they have a custom one for that 
or a wall mount unit for storing these in the garage. So there's a lot of different product options and accessories available on their website at madramps.com. And uh, I guess that leaves just taking it for a test drive. <laughs> fur, 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 you almost said fur rip. I'm stuck on my knife is open. We'd like to take this opportunity to thank Mad, Mad Ramps. <laughs> <laughs> okay, restart. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Sorry, Mad Rams. So today we're going to be reviewing and installing diesel. <laughs> it's not cast proof. That's a lot of pride of oh! Go, go lay down. Go to your bed. Go, buddy. Literally anywhere else. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh. <laughs> You're going to go for a rip. No, no, that's perfect. Beep. Are you sure? Yeah.